at the end of the day, it's all about freedom. I mean, sure, there is a lot of fake news in, in the internet, and I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if even on some of those sites that I said that I really love, they've gotten the story wrong or two there. But fake news, I mean, there is nothing faker than CNN or MSNBC. I mean, that shit is just pure garbage. The idea that, that CNN and MSNBC are, and Fox News, that these, these guys are telling people or, or calling other sites, uh, to be fair, it's not really Fox News doing it, but the fact that these are, are, are calling other you know, news sites fake news, I mean, what it, what it, what's the worst fake story they ever ran? Did they ever, did they ever convince a... Uh, Anybody that a country had weapons of mass destruction, so they had to go in there and murder a few hundred thousand people? They ever, like, throw you a real whopper of a fake story like that? Uh, these motherfuckers don't, I mean, like, it's like half the, the these conspiracies, even, even the a site like Alex Jones, okay, or, or a show like Alex Jones, okay, look, if you want to call it fake news, all right, fine, I'm sure you could get into some, look, Alex Jones has definitely taken some theories on that I think are probably not accurate theories. But what's really faker? Throwing out a few conspiracies like that or the mainstream media, which will just completely ignore conspiracies that are right in their face and not just go like they'll literally. So we have a what fake news. They go, oh, my God, there's been another another terrorist attack. Now to talk about it, a former CIA agent, a former military guy and a former this guy. OK, this is this is real news. This is real news right now, but you know Vietnam was a conspiracy, okay? So you know that. You know these, these motherfuckers start wars off bullshit, but then you'll just take their intelligence and parrot it like fact, and you have the nerve to call somebody else a fake news organization?